Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome to this video and welcome to another daily vlog and update in terms of improvement season, life and yes, it is true, we have got another puppy. Everybody, meet Coco. Hello. She is just 12 weeks old, she's an American bully she looks almost the same size as Milo, but she is going to get substantially bigger. And yes, she is the new addition to our little family. And she settled right in. It's Thursday the 17th of March. It's about quarter to eight. I've done my normal morning routine. I've taken Milo for a walk in the morning. Coco doesn't come for a walk in the morning with us because it's too long a walk for such a young pup. She does do an evening walk with us, which I'll take you on a little bit later. But I have had my first meal. I'm gonna head to the gym. I'm training shoulders, or should I say my push session. And I will pick you guys back up when I'm back at home and show you guys a little bit more of how Coco settled in. I'll give you an update on what's happening with my improvement season. But this morning I actually woke up and I weighed in the lightest I've been in this improvement season. And my food has finally changed. It's actually gone up. But I'm going to head to the gym now. I'll try and film some of my top sets and insert it into the vlog so you guys can see. And I'll catch you guys a bit later. Just home from training now, about to tuck into my post-workout meal, which is one of the meals that has increased in carbs. So it's gone from 60 grams of cream of rice to 75. My morning cream of rice that I have for breakfast, which is also my pre-workout, has gone up to 75 grams. And I also have 20 grams of intra-workout carbs. So there's only an increase of 50 grams of carbs across the whole day, but yeah, that's the, one of the main changes that's happened. Um, with my food moving forward. So I'm gonna eat this up, get showered. I feel really, really rough after that session and I'll pick you guys up in a bit. You know it's a tough session when you're struggling to get your post-workout meal in. Meanwhile, this little madam has decided to take my trainer. You know, cause taking two pairs of slippers into your bed is not enough. Milo, you never did this. You never chewed on shoes or anything. Yeah. What was that? Yes. More chew toys, please. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Who's gonna get it? Maybe I can take these slippers out of the bed now. <laughs> it's a few hours later now and I am showered. I've washed my hair, made myself look a little bit more presentable, but I do think I need to get these extensions out. They've been in since February. 
I need to make an appointment to go and take them out. But I've been sat on my laptop, I've been working on some admin work. Thursdays and Fridays for me are a little bit more chilled in terms of work. I don't tend to have coaching calls with business clients. I don't do any check-ins unless it's prep clients that are kind of getting close to show. But I do have onboarding calls with new clients and I work on new plans. And then I have lots of admin work to do for my fitness coaching clients and the private forum I have for them and my business coaching clients as well. So I tend to sit on the sofa with my laptop on my lap a bit more chilled rather than in the office because I spend a lot of time in the office but the little one has decided she's going to sit on the sofa with me. She's only been here since Sunday evening and she's made herself right at home. Milo's chewing on that new toy. He will probably get through that in about 30 seconds but she's pretty chilled and she's found her spot. She also likes this spot over there, which is daddy's side of the sofa. But she's pretty happy. And at night, she already curls in with Milo in his bed. So you guys are like best friends already, aren't you? Mm -mm. Time for mommy to get her next meal. This meal hasn't changed at all. Exactly the same protein, fats and carbs. So funny. Milo still has his routine. Whenever I come in the kitchen, he comes and sits by me when I wash up, when I make a meal. Whereas this one has just claimed her spot. Chilling. And these are the updates on the board. So yeah, my cream of rice in the morning is now 75. I have 20 grams of intra, 75 post. Everything else is exactly the same. So protein 160, fats 70, 350 carbs. I'm gonna eat up my meal, sit myself on the sofa and finish up these new plans. Another couple of hours later, and I have popped into the office, just had um, a coaching call with a new client that wanted to join my team, and Milo, as per Milo, has joined me here. But the other little one, I think she's still on the couch. But we've also got the cleaner in today, because Thursday is the day our cleaner comes. So I don't know how she's gonna feel about the hoover and all sorts, so I probably best go get her off the sofa quickly before she piddles anywhere. Get her out in the garden. Let the cleaner do her job, and then I need to get another meal. How are we doing? Are we good? I know, look at my slippers. <laughs> Should we play? Do you guys want to play? Are you ready? Are you ready? Steady, go. Oh, Milo. Are you not impressed, Milo? It is very hot out here now. My goodness. Summer is coming. It's not for you. Definitely not. Or you. I just thought I would have my next meal outside because I literally spend no time in this garden. Currently back in the office and uh, you can hear the AC and the Hoover in the other room. But Milo's on the beanbag. And this little one is just sat by my feet. Right, right little one, you can come out now. Are you tired? Come on, look, Milo's already out. Yeah, let's go. All right, mister, we can hear you. Normality has resumed. Back in your spot. Milo's been a guard dog. And Stitchy. Stitchy. Yeah, you're still king. So many people have asked, is he phased? Not at all. Yes, your trouble. And yes, I'm wearing these slippers now because the other ones will not survive. So I've got to keep these ones on my feet. Away from this bitey little mouth. What are you gruffing at? Milo. Gruff, gruff, gruff. What are you barking at? 
Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> I was like, what are you barking at? He's been barking for the last five minutes. Did you park five minutes ago? Yeah, I was That's what it was. I was given out to him for barking for no reason. Seriously, you had to order the most annoying squeaky toys. <laughs> How was your session? She's back in her spot. Yeah, that toy's almost dead already, babe. He's already ripped the leg off it. All the kisses. <laughs> She's so happy to see you. Back on the couch again in my usual spot. Just been uploading a document to my business coaching Facebook group talking about communication about how to provoke a response on Instagram, how to communicate with prospective clients through the DMs, all of those kind of things, and how to build a community of clients that are going to support your business moving forward. But check out this little one. <laughs> and this not so little one. What are you gruffing at again? There's nobody at the door. Milo. Milo. There's no one there, Bubba. I know, he's a little gruffalo. Work is almost done for the day, but it's just coming up to 5 p.m. I need to get my next meal. Then I've got a little bit more work to do but I wanted to bring you into this room because I'm in the posing room, you can probably tell because it's quite echoey, but I finally tidied it all up. You know, we've had a lot of deliveries, Darren's had a lot of clothing deliveries and I've had to sort through a lot of wardrobes, done a bit of spring cleaning, and I finally have my posing studio back. You'll have to excuse the uh, <laughs> slippers and Milo's having a little sniff around because he follows me everywhere. But I'm so happy to have this studio back now and I am posing three times a week even though I'm in my improvement season. So I'm going to be doing it up here. I'm going to be videoing some of my posing sessions and I'm going to be hiring a posing coach again. The other room that I want to show you guys is the podcast studio because I've given it a little bit of an upgrade and I'm finally going to start properly using it. So this is what it currently looks like. You may have seen on my previous vlogs that I ordered some lights, but I've actually ordered some better lights than this. They're not bad, they're quite bright, and obviously I've got ring light, but I've got some massive lights on order. Here's the desk. I still haven't figured out how to attach this, but I'm getting some help with that. Obviously this is what it looks like here, and here's the sofa. So the plan moving forward is that Walk With Bex is going to evolve into a podcast where I interview people and I invite them here to the podcast studio once I've got it all set up and yeah we have a lot of people that come through Dubai people that are in the fitness industry you know coaching mindset all of that jazz and I kind of want to get people here and create another platform with useful and valuable information for people and maybe Milo will join us <laughs> for a few podcast interviews who knows <laughs> Go on, you can do it, Milo. Go on. Yes, those muscle ups. Boy, you're strong. You're so strong. Almost time for your walkies. You're gonna show your sister how to go for walkies. Are you? Right now he's thinking, hmm, this looks like a comfy sofa. The only time we ever have a meal together is round about this time. My lovely steak, mash broccoli and then we'll take these little monsters for a walk
She's a feisty little one. She gives as good as she gets. Go on, girl. Get it. Get it. We're on to the next toy. Okay guys, I think I'm going to close this video off here now. We're gonna feed the little pups and then take them for a walk. It tends to be still quite warm in the evening, so we've just kind of pushed back the evening walk about an hour, so it's a little bit cooler for them both. But that's pretty much my update in regards to we have a new pup, my improvement season's going well, my food's gone up, my weight's come down. I will insert my latest check-in photos here so you guys can see what I was looking like on Monday, which was obviously a few days ago. And yeah, I'm just gonna keep plowing on, keep working towards getting stronger in the gym, except that some sessions are gonna be tougher than others and it's okay to dip with a bit of strength, but that I'm still plowing on forward and have no real plans to compete anytime soon. I'm just, here for this improvement season i just want to bring the best physique i possibly can to stage next time i do prep so i'm just going to keep working really hard and the next few vlogs that you guys will see i'm sure will include both the pups and coco getting a little bit bigger but thank you so much for watching catch you in the next one guys bye for now